All right, now new at 6.30, time to check out something really cool. If you have been here in Southern Nevada for any amount of time, you know we are home to a very important U.S. military base. Nellis Air Force Base is the hub for specializing and training missions that take place several times a year. News 3's Gerard Romalo is live at Nellis. And Gerard, you were invited to do an amazing fly along. Take us there. How awesome was it? Yeah, that was an understatement, uh, no question about that. You know, many Southern Nevadans are familiar with red flag exercises, Jessica. Those are primarily air-to-air uh, -air combat scenarios. Well, today it was a green flag exercise that also involved some ground troops. The scenarios get a little more complicated. For our part, we were invited to go on a fly-along that was a refueling mission. It involved a very old, tried-and-true aircraft and a brand-new aircraft that is still being tested. Nicknamed the Stratotanker, this giant KC-135 refueling plane was built back in the 50s, but its relevance in today's military remains the same. And so what was happening was the, the tanker was safe and sound away from the enemy. The fighters were flowing into the fight and executing their mission, and when they needed gas, they would flow north to where you guys were on the tanker. The training mission took place over the Nevada Test Range, part of Green Flag West, a simulated combat scenario involving a contested environment. Today's objective, successfully connect with and refuel two F-35 fighter jets in midair. The entire refueling process doesn't take long at all. In fact, only about five minutes, but it's a critical five minutes that requires perfect timing and precision. Airman Christopher Cannon operates the boom from the belly of the tanker. He'll connect it to the jet's fuel tank, a job that requires meticulous hand-eye coordination and constant communication with pilots like Major Christopher Lloyd. So the whole time, you're just trying, as a fighter pilot, trying to put your jet in the envelope, just the sweet spot, so the boom operator can, because his boom only moves so far left and right and up and down, and the three or four feet each way. So you got a little basket you want to put that airplane in, so there's a lot of focus. After taking on 2,000 gallons of fuel, the fighter jet is able to disconnect from the boom and proceed on with its mission. Military commanders say together, a decades-old aircraft with a proven track record and a still-being-evaluated state-of-the-art fighter jet will help secure air superiority in future scenarios. And that scenario that took place today, we're told, is one that could easily be taking place overseas in the fight against ISIS. Now, as for that F-35 fighter jet, uh, it was an impressive aircraft, I have to tell you. And I'm told that by next summer, we could have initial operating capacity, which means it could be deployed soon after that. Reporting live from Nellis Air Force Base, I'm Gerard Romalo. Now back to you. Wow. Talk about threading the needle. An impressive set of skills on display there, Gerard. Thank you.